right. All right, boys. So, basically, basically, I've been working on this, right? And uh, all the stupid bugs, really, that I had kind of fixed. Also, uh, thank you to my boy, um, Waysincha, 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 how do you, I don't know how you pronounce that, but he hooked me up with a sweet, um, Elgato capture card, so now, should be able to see, um, my PC, which is obviously this. Right, so this is why I wanted to switch over to Windows, just because of Visual Studio. Um, you can obviously see I've been working on this tool. Uh, you know what? Let's do this. I'm gonna reboot. I'm gonna show you guys because I've fixed basically like everything wrong. Um, yeah. Also, um, I can show you you are much better here. I can also show you um, my Ida, which is nice. So, um, so now you guys can see this, uh, which is sweet. PS4 should be coming up. Um, I don't know what the fuck that's all about. Ignore my Discord. I'm never going to open that again. But I use FFmpeg, so it's pretty sweet. Uh, screenception right there. Okay. Yeah, so basically, um, I'll show you. I'll show you guys what I've been working on. Uh, I really just like wanted to get done the, um, the back end, the server on the console. Because that was like... It was a pain in my ass for, um, I don't know why, it was just being really annoying. Uh, so, I took a day, and I did that yesterday, and then I fixed some stuff today, and, but there's still a bunch of bugs. But this tool I've been writing, I'm going to show you guys, and that's really all I wanted to do. And then I'm going to stop recording, because... I'm gonna go do something else because I've been working on this and I don't want to work on it anymore because I need to start a new tool. Okay, why did that just happen? Okay, so whenever I shut down, see I'm getting this double fault. I'm gonna have to diagnose that. It's faulting in and of itself inside the fault handler. So I don't know what the hell's going on there, but. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, I've been getting that. Like, there's definitely some issues. Um, yeah, I don't know why I just did that. But anyway, I don't care. Uh, yeah, so if you guys look, this C Sharp, remember when I started this? Like, I've basically done like the whole entire thing, right? Except for watch points and breakpoints. Now the interesting thing about watch points is that I need to um, set each one for each thread, which called um, is called the LW PID. Um, so each thread is distinguished by an LW PID, which stands for lightweight process ID because threads are designed as like lightweight processes that reside inside of a process. Um, that's how that is. But now you guys can see my PS4. Uh, the only reason I have an IOH is because it was crashing on 5.05 and I debugged the JK patch. I actually play this game. I actually play this game. I actually play this game, but this game I just mod the shit out of. I do play it, it's fun. NIOH, or NIO, I don't know how you pronounce it. Stupid game. I hate it. Trust me, stupid ass game. Okay, so I'll show you guys this. Um. 
So I'm not actually sure. Well, see, I added the notification. Also, I'm gonna be um, putting that to like the blank PlayStation. I already reverse engineered most of the stuff we need to do that. So if you look here, if you go to my here, um, yeah, so you see, I reverse engineered the structure, and um, so basically what it does, so if we call this, right, you can see it um, will notify, it and we'll set it to that, right? So you can see it actually just, um, right here there should be a stack cookie check, but it just set, calls this, which just calls that, which basically just, um, it just writes to slash dev slash notification, um, and there's two of them. There's notification one and two. This integer tells you which um, service it's going to use. I don't know the difference between notification one and two. Um, it might be on like different regions of the screen, but all these use um, zero. So they all go to de slash dev slash notification zero. But there seems to be slash notification one. Um, and then you can see in the kernel here, notification, uh, notify, notification. So if we go, um, I can't even spell it yet. So slash dev slash notification, and there's two of them. So I reverse engineered some of this. If you go here, uh, it's called make dev, and uh, here you can see the read and write. So I reverse engineered all this, so I know how the notification system works, and I'm gonna make it so that we can have the standard, or I'll show you right now, because you guys, um, watch this. So if we do, let me show you this, watch. Um, change this to input two and then do convert. Uh, two in 32. Um, so we'll make it base 10, not base 16. And then we can do like, for example, notify to 10, hello, which will be like hello connected, um, which we don't want the connected stuff, right? So you do slash n, slash n, slash n, or whatever the hell that is. But the out, it's not going to escape, obviously. But we can do notify to, to, to hello world. But you see how that has the soccer icon? But this has the system icon. I want to make it so we remove the connected bullshit from it, but we can still have the, um, the system icon, which I think I can do, which I think I can do. And I think um, SE um, shell core handles all that, which um, it reads from slash dev slash notification, then makes the actual notification. So I think that'll work. But anyway, I'll show, oh, let me show you this. Okay, so we connect, right? Um, and the ptrace attach and pt continue work. Um, as you can see, I'm always just attaching to the web process. You can see up here, I'm detaching whatever might have been there, and then I'm attaching again. Um, detach, actually, I changed it, so you don't actually have to do that. But anyway, um, so I can get like get threads, right? So there's seven threads running. There's six threads now. And then I can do like 189DE. Or wait, I mean get regs 189D. And I can get the registers. Um, I can run debugger. So that'll run the debugger. Uh, currently, I'm, de I'm like trying to debug the debugger, so I got some prints in there. Uh, but then it works to stop debugger. So it'll stop, and then I can do read mem, like from address zero for like 10 bytes, right? And then I can do memory map. Um, you can take this, which is the start of the executable, and I can do read mem, like 10, right? I can write mem, 
like one, two, three, four, right? And then I gotta do read mem ten. So you see one, two, three, four, little endian. Uh, I can do clear help. So all of these are implemented except breakpoint, uh, watch point, stop, resume. I can stop threads and resume threads. All of these are implemented. So basically, I just need to do breakpoints and watch points, and then all I have to do is the front end, which is gonna be in C sharp. Yeah, it's just gonna be in C sharp. It's just gonna be a nice little C sharp. I'm gonna use capstone, right? So we'll get capstone. C sharp bindings, and then we should be good. Um, I'm gonna speed up the memory read and writing. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I'm thinking on this screen. Okay, so if we go to proc. So I don't wanna allocate memory every time I read and write. Um, I want it to be quicker and I wanna have some sort of scratch memory so say they request to read like three megabytes it's gonna read um, like two meg two like it's gonna read four kilobytes at a time but and then it's just gonna send it so how networking works it'll be fine because it'll just queue it up in the receive buffer and I should pop it off on the um, on the client side and it should be good and I won't have to um, allocate data every time well it's like a two second fix but I don't want to do it right now because I'm lazy as fuck but um yeah, basically, that's it. I just wanted to show you guys what I've been working on. I'm super happy I got this, so I can just see my PS4 and I can show you guys too now. Um, yeah, isn't that pretty cool? So, like, there's obviously nothing, as, there's no zero mem, but, um, Uh, I also need to implement getting a thread name, the names of threads, like the information about a thread, i.e. like the priority. Um, not actually sure, like that's working. And then if I get, um, get regs on 189DE, but then I do it again. See, none of it actually changes. So I'm actually, I'm wondering, well, first of all, I need to parse this. But it, none of it changes. But see if I input an invalid. Oh, just so happens that is a valid thread. But if I input an invalid thread, it doesn't work. And you'll see on the console that um, it says error no three, which free BSD error no. Um, the third one is there's no such um, process. So um, that works, right? So that's good. So it knows that it's getting it from, I just don't know if I'm getting the right data. You know what I mean? Uh, right, so that's basically all I wanted to show you guys. Um, yeah.